Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, welcome to Poisson Distributions, which I know, yes, means fish in French, so these are fish distributions. Um, we're going to look at these um, from a couple of different ways, but I want to show you how to calculate these on Excel. Remember that you know that you have a Poisson distribution when the probability of an occurrence or something happening is extremely small. Poisson distributions are the probability of the improbable. Um, in this case, you have a probability of a recording error on a billing of .005, which is extremely small. The other thing is that the problem says the probability of a billing error is constant from one billing to the next. And so that's one of the other characteristics of a Poisson, is that the expected number of occurrences has to hold constant from one event to the other inside of the experiment. So, um, the first thing that we have to do in order to calculate a Poisson distribution is we have to find the long run average. The long run average is denoted by the Greek letter lambda um, or in some charts, it's simply shown as mu or the mean because lambda and the mean in a Poisson distribution are the same thing. So what I have here is fundamentally if lambda or the mean is not given to you, then you're going to do it just like you find the mean of a binomial. I'm going to take the number of billings times the probability that there's an error in any one billing I'm going to multiply it together, and it's going to give me a lambda of 5. So simply 1,000 times 0 .005 equals 5. So all I need to know is a value for the mean, mu, lambda, whatever they're going to refer to it as. And then I need to see over here, what's the probability that fewer than four billings contain an error? So I'm going to, what I know is I'm looking for the probability of less than four errors. All right, so I'm going to start with coming back up here to my function, insert function. I can come back down here, remember, and use statistical, and it gives me the entire list. So I can scroll down, scroll down until I see Poisson. And it basically shows, returns the Poisson distribution. So it's going to work a lot the same way that we did the binomials. I'm going to click OK. And it's going to give me this nifty um, dialog box again. So I'm looking for X. Now remember, before we said that Excel always calculates the probability of cumulatively between zero and X occurrences. So fewer than four billings, fewer than four, means what's the probability that three, two, one, or zero have no errors? The mean we just calculated is an expected numeric value. Just calculated it up here to be five. And again, we have one of two options one of two options for our cumulative or our logic value, and those two options are true or false. When I'm looking for a range, such as 0, 1, 2, or 3, I'm going to type true. All right? Um, I'm going to type true. If I was looking for an individual, an individual um, probability for a one number, then it would be false. I'm going to come down here and click OK, and it tells me that the probability that there are less than four errors is 0 0.265026. You could round that just to 0 0.265. Um, but there's your answer. So, let's look at the next one. The next one says, what is the probability that more, that more than 10 billings contain an error? All right? So I'm looking for probability more than 
10. So come back down here, go back up to my function box. Now remember the other way that I can do this is I can search for a function. Just back over that and start typing in P-O-I-S-S-O-N. Hit go and there it is. So it says for the Poisson, so I'm going to say OK. Now it's going to ask me the same thing. I have to think for a minute about what am I looking for. More than 10. Well, remember that more than 10 is going to be 11 and up. So here I'm going to say, what is, remember, Excel gives me the probability from 0 to X, from 0 to X. So if I want from 11 up, then from 0 to 10 will, give, will leave me the 11 and up. The mean is still 5. And I'm looking for more than, because I'm asking for more than, then I'm going to ask for a true function. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, this 0.98635 is the probability but that between 0 and 10 have errors. All right, remember how we did it before? Now I want to know what's the probability of more than 10. Remember what I learned, what we learned about probability is that this probability plus this has to equal 1. So since I know the two of them have to equal 1, I'm going to use a little um, Excel magic. I'm going to say equals sum parentheses, and I'm going to say 1 minus 0 0.986305, close parentheses, hit enter, and it tells me the probability that more than 10 have errors is 0 0.013695. Because the way that Excel works is that when we put in this Poisson function, it always solves for the probability between 0 and whatever number I have entered as my x. So since I'm looking for more than 10, what I'll do is I'll solve for the probability of between 0 and 10, and then know that 10 or that more than 10, 11 up to 1,000, is the flip side of that probability of 1. All right, let's see what the next one asks us. The next one asks us, what is the probability that all 100 billings contain no errors? So again, I'm going to come up here to function. I'm just going to pick it because it's the one I used last. I'm going to say OK. And I'm just simply going to look and say, all right, what is my x now? What am I looking for the probability? probability it contains no errors is 0. The mean is still 5, except in this case I want to know exactly 0 errors. Exactly 0 errors. And so now I finally get to use false. And when I type in false, I'm going to say OK. And it tells me that the probability that there are zero errors, right, an exact number, is 0 0.006738. And you can round to four decimal places, no problem. All right, one more. I'll show you another way to get your um, function to appear in Excel. You can type equals and then start typing in POI. Whoop, look, there it is. When I do it this way, the Poisson will give me, I'll click, the difference is now I don't get a dialog box. It simply wants me to enter in the values that I need. First value it tells me is, see how I'm highlighting here? X is 25. Next number it wants is the mean, which I know is 5. And now it wants to know cumulative. 
Well, I'm solving for what is the probability that exactly 25 billings contain an error. Remember, when I'm solving for an exact figure, I'm going to type false. And now I've got everything I need. I'm simply going to hit the Enter key. Now look at the number that I get. Remember what I said before about there being these weird numbers that are E minus 10? Remember, in order to make that go away, we're going to right-click. I'm going to come way down here, and I'm going to say Format Cells. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to Number. And I'm going to start increasing the number of decimal places. And I'm probably going to have to go 10 before I get anything. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See where that E minus 10? What it's telling you is there are 10 zeros between the decimal point and the first digit that appears, which is going to be a 1. So what should happen is if I keep going, I should end up with now 1, 2, 9, 4, 5, 9 as I keep going. And it requires me to take it out 15 decimal places. So that's what that little E minus 10 is saying. Hey, there are 10 zeros that really belong in front of this decimal point before you get to that 1. I'm going to click OK. There's my probability. See what I mean about being the probability of the improbable? The probability that 25 billings contain an error when the probability that any one billing contains an error is only 0 .005 is, let's just say, I wouldn't put your money on it. So, um, Poissons work a lot like the binomials in terms of how to solve them with Excel. You could have done this using the formula for a Poisson distribution, or you could have used the tables that are provided to you in the back of your text. So, hope this helps. And I will see you guys around the classroom or Blackboard. Have a great day.